How's it going guys? Today I just want to quickly show you how you can sell a covered call on the Thinkorswim platform. So today I'm going to be using the SoFi stock since I currently own a little bit over 100 shares of that one in my Roth IRA. So once you own 100 shares of any stock that you want to sell a covered call on, you can simply go to the trade tab right here at the top and then in the ticker box type in the stock that you want to sell a covered call on. Then as you can see we have the options chain you can click down here if it's not already and you see a list of all the different expiries that you can sell options or buy options on. So we'll just go out to you know just the 67 day for this example and as you can see we have all the strikes showing by default it might just be showing you a few so I recommend that you change the number of strikes here to all. And also another quick thing Make sure if you have multiple accounts on TD Ameri or Schwab now on your Thinkorswim account, make sure you're on the right one. So whichever account you have the 100 shares of the stock in, make sure you click on that one just to make sure you sell the call on the right account. All right, so now that once all that is settled, all we're going to do is now pick the call that we want to sell. I'm not going to tell you specific strategies or anything in this video. I'm just going to show you how to sell the call. So let's just say, for example, you want to sell the 15 Delta call. I have Delta here. You can add that using this little thing up here. I like to use Delta sometimes to pick the strike. But currently, for 67 days out in March, the 14 Delta call is the 21 strike, it looks like. And so if you wanted to sell that call, you're going to want to you see the bid price right here and the ask price right here since you can sell options at the bid price generally and buy at the ask we're going to be clicking on the bid price of the 21 strike covered call so you're at 21 here you go over to the left click on the bid price there this will pull up the order window right here you can see the expiration date you know the strike price whether it's a call or put and then you can set the limit price or you can just simply do a market order if you want but I always recommend doing a limit for options since you can see the bid ask spread is five cents wide which isn't super ideal but it's just a covered call so it's not that big of a deal and then yeah so once you have the limit price that you want to sell it at you can uncheck this box you can see it just went from 27 to 28 but if you lock it, the limit price won't change. So let's just say you want to get in as quickly as possible. So we'll just take the bid. We'll just set it at 28 cents right there. And then once you have it all ready to go, click confirm and send. And then as you can see, the order summary right here pops up. And it shows you, make sure you're in the right account. And you can see it says 28 limit to open. And then once you're sure that this is the call you want to sell, you would click send. I'm not going to do that right now for this video because I actually just closed out a covered call on this stock. But that is exactly how you sell a covered call using the Thinkorswim platform. Alright, so now that we've gone over how to open or sell a covered call, I just want to quickly go over how to close out a covered call that you've already sold. So as you can see, I have this SoFi call that I sold in the past, and it's up 64%, so I'd say now is a pretty good time to close it out. And I'm in the monitor tab right now, but there's a couple ways to do this. So if you find the call that you've sold, the covered call in your monitor tab, you can click on it, left click, and then right click, and then do create a closing order, and then you know press buy plus one here. So that's one way to do it, and then you can just you know set your limit to whatever you want to close it at, Set it to good kill canceled if you want. You know, if you want to close it out at a lower price and secure some more profit potentially in the future, you can change it to a lower limit. And then maybe a good till canceled order so that it doesn't cancel. And then you confirm and send and then send. However, today I'm just going to close it out. And so another way to do it is to go to the trade tab. And I'm using the SoFi stock again. So I'm just going to type SoFi into the ticker box up there. And you can see this little red banner here. That means I am short an option in this uh, expiry. So we'll go here and you see the red banner here. I'm short the 30 strike covered call for you know, the 21st of March. And so 
instead of clicking the bid to sell the call like we did initially we're going to click on the ask price to buy it back since when you want to close a covered call you're buying it back and so you see the bid is at 10 that's what you'll be able to sell that the ask is at 11 cents that's what you'll likely be able to buy it back at so once you click on the ask there you can set the limit i'm going to set it at 11 cents and that's what the ask is currently trading at could set it for good till canceled but I just want to get it filled today you can even change it from a limit you know to a stop market whatever you want we're just going to use a limit at 11 cents and then once you have everything set up you just do confirm and send and then send make sure it's the right account and whatnot I think actually I need a change to make sure this is my Roth account but yeah click that confirm and send you see 11 cents there you're buying it back to close you see it's to close there click send and then I'm filled and I'm out of my covered call and so that's how you close out a covered call on the thinkorswim platform so I hope this video is helpful if you have any questions or want to join our community of traders the link will be down in the description so that you can join us for free you'll also get you know a copy of our free trading journal template you can use our free trading view indicator and ask the community any questions you want so i hope to see you in there and i'll see you guys in the next video